If you want to use characters and guns from Apex Legends in your Blender creations and video thumbnails, this is how to do it. You are going to start by downloading two things, IO Anim, SE Anim, and Legion Plus from GitHub or through the links in the description. Locate your files in your downloads folder and extract Legion to somewhere you will remember. Enter the Legion folder and launch the program. Go into settings and change the load settings to model and the export settings to the following. FBX SE Anim NPNG now, to actually view the files, you want to click on Load File and navigate to the Pack folder. The Pack folder is usually found through Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Apex Legends, Packs, Win64. Usually, all of the common skins will be found in the pack named Common and Legendary Skins in packs called Root Legend, but often they are not. What I recommend doing is selecting all packs starting with Common, the Root Legends Skins Pack and any Root Legend Pack with the name of the legend you are looking for. In my case, it is Loba, so I will select all legend packs that have Loba in the name. Go ahead and open. You can search in the search bar for what you are looking for, but not everything has consistent names. For example, Octane is called Stim in some instances and the Triple Take is the Double Take. For whole models, you want to look for Pilot underscore at the beginning of the name. If the name begins with POV then, that is the model that is rendered in first person and will only include arms. For legendary skins, the name will usually start with the legend's name then the skin's name. Select the file you want and click export selected. Now switch the load settings to materials to get high quality textures. For the original skin, select all files names legend base model part such as Loba base gear. For legendary and other skins search for the name associated with the model. Select the files you want and click Export Selected. Now switch the load settings to Animations and select the file with the name of your base pilot and click Export Selected. Before we get into Blender, let me remind you, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content and tutorials. Now, go ahead and open Blender. Navigate to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and install the SE Anim Add-on. To import the legend model, navigate to File, Import, FBX, and find the folder where you stored Legion. Within that folder, navigate to Exported Files, Models, select your legend, and import the FBX. Now you have a rigged model ready to use in Blender. To add an animation from the game, have the armature selected and go to File, Import, SE Anim, find the Legion folder, select Animations, and select your legend's name. You can choose any animation from here, but I recommend searching emote and selecting from there. Now you have an animated character. Browse the animations to find one you like. The models come with basic shaders, but they are not the best. To make use of the materials we downloaded we will open the shader editor and use Core's Apex Shader 1.3 which you can find in the Blender file in the description of this video. Open the Legion folder and navigate to Materials. For each separate mesh of the body, we will find a corresponding folder of textures. We will drag the images into Blender and connect them accordingly. Albedo Ambient Occlusion Cavity Gloss, which needs to be set to non-color along with Normal Normal Scatter And Specular I choose to remove the scatter texture as I do not like how it looked. Now continue to each model piece and repeat this process. Some pieces may have emissive textures which should be plugged into both emission and emission color. There may also be an opacity multiplier for some textures. 
The best way I have found to use that is to add a mix shader connected to a texture with the alpha set to zero and use the opacity multiply texture as the factor. You may find pieces of the mesh that do not have shading like around the eyes. For the eyeballs themselves, I added a principal B SDF and set the transmission to 1, roughness to 0, and specular to 1, to give the eyes a glossy surface, and for the parts that look like eyelashes, I added a principal B SDF and made them black. There you have it, a high quality, textured, and animated Apex Legend. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. That is all, thank you for watching.